Hello Glamettes, welcome back to Glam Queen of DIY and if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now today's video, I am going to be showing you my modern glam bathroom tour. If that's not interesting to you, make sure you stay tuned. But please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. Alright, let's get this video started. All right, family, this is my bathroom as it sits. And I had the black, white, and silver. You will be seeing some of the pieces still in the space, but we're going to do a complete change. And you guys, this wall was actually black. I had, it was a sponsored video for that uh, wallpaper, but we're gonna still take it down. But this is what my overview of what is right now. And we're going to go through almost a semi-complete transformation. We're going to get rid of some things, change out some things. And you guys, I am just trying to show you how to modernize and glamify a tiny, tiny bathroom. Because my bath uh, is actually very small. But now with that being said, we're going to jump right into what we're going to be doing here in my tiny bath. And I'm going to remove all the pieces. Now, you guys, I'm going to be showing you what color I'm going with. You see, I have this navy blue and this white. And you guys, this rug actually came from my local roses. It was $8.99. You guys, make sure you do always check out roses because here in my area, roses is the stores that we do have here. Don't hardly, um, sorry, I have a cup of burlington's here as well but we're going to do navy blue and white and here are my curtains then you know i like curtains by my shower and they come from burlington and this is the bb brand and they were 19.99 so we're gonna just get them hung up so follow me along as we get this modern glam bathroom put together And if this is your first time tuning in, welcome to the Glam Queen of DIY. Now you may be asking yourself, what is it that I get here on the Glam Queen of DIY? I am so glad you asked. Here on the Glam Queen of DIY, you get a lot of glam DIYs. I do DIY tutorials, uh, how-to hacks. You'll also be getting a little bit of my lifestyle and home decor ideas. Now, if that sounds interesting, make sure you do become a part of the Glam Queen family. Also, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you tap it twice to the turn blue. Then you'll know every time that I am uploading. I do upload on Sunday, Tuesday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday and you do get videos on other days as well when I'm doing collaborations so you'll always be knowing when I am uploading so if you're not a part of this fabulous glam queen brand make sure you do hit that subscribe button make sure you also check out our other channels and that is the glam queen of the court the home of all things home decor and glam queen unboxing and that channel is going through a revamp as well but make sure you become part of this glam queen family
All right, you guys, and this wall here is actually, I have taken the black down. This wall is actually a very pretty navy blue. And I'm going to give you a little hack, you guys. When we got ready to do this bathroom, it was over in the night, and I only had a couple colors there, but I did have white. I didn't have navy blue. I had some royal blue and some more colors, but I didn't want royal blue here in my bathroom. I wanted navy blue. So what I done, you guys, was I took my uh, royal blue paint and I mixed it with black. You heard me, you guys. I took the royal blue paint and mixed it in with black. If you learn your color sequence, and it actually gave me a beautiful color, so I cannot give you a precise go to this place, purchase this color blue, because I actually mixed it, and I mixed it with my apple barrel uh, plaid matte black paint, you guys, in with my white eggshell. So that is how I did create this color blue. Now I'm giving you an overall look for the reveal of my Modern Glam tiny bathroom. And you guys, like I said, you can jazz up any space, you guys. You just have to be creative. And if you follow me for a while, you do know I like oversized pieces. And the reason being is oversized pieces will make a small space look larger than it is i always hang all of my pieces as close to the ceiling as possible to give me more length or more depth and more depth look in a space you guys but this is my reveal i hope you do enjoy it. and i do do hope it inspires you make sure you do drop me a comment about what you think about this bathroom also drop me a comment on what room would you like to see but uh, i'm trying to see how many of you guys know me and you can tell me which room i will be showing you next And to you guys, be on the lookout for my fall home tour that will be coming soon. And I will give you a little tip. When you do see my fall home tour, even my bathroom as it is, will undergo like three more little changes. And it's going to be still a major change. So make sure when you do see that home tour, you identify or let me know what you what did you see that I did change as well? And I told you some of my pieces is coming back. And you guys, this silver and white coming off of this blue wall is uh, spectacular. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Now, if you're still following me and you're new and haven't subscribed, become a part of the family. And to all of my oldest but goodies, thank you for continuing to rock out with your girl. You know, I could not do any of this without you. And if you're not a part of the Glam Queen branded family, please make sure you do subscribe to the Glam Queen of DIY, the Glam Queen of Decor, and the Glam Queen Unboxing. And Glam Queen Vlogs, you will start getting uh, vlogs coming three three to four times a week, you guys, so be mindful of that. Now, if you've been rocking with me for a while, 
You know I can't close out without letting you know. Always, always, always be positive so you can remain productive and stay positioned to make your next move your best move. I'll see every one of you in another upcoming video. Bye, everyone. Stay blessed and always stay positive.